All right, so today we are going to be doing a compression test to the mini buggy build engine. Now, last video I made of this project, I mentioned this part. This is a part that goes in between the gas tank and the carburetors, and I didn't really know what this was last video. Um, I knew it had something to do with you know the fuel, and uh, what you guys told me in the comments of that video is basically this thing is a manual and automatic fuel shutoff valve. It has the shutoff valve when you can go to reserve, off, or you know main, and then it has a vacuum line that hooks up to the carburetor. And when basically when there's a vacuum applied to this, that's when fuel flows to the carburetor. If the vacuum is uh, you know shut off when the engine is not running, fuel will not uh, flow to the carburetor. Basically, what this will do is fix the problem that I had in the last video where. A little bit of dirt got in the carburetors and the needles uh, stayed open and it flooded the entire engine. I'm not going to install this because it's not going to solve the issue that I'm ha mainly having with the engine not wanting to run for more than five, for more than two or five minutes. So, I'm not going to install this. What we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be doing a compression test. I bought this little cheap thing. I think it was like thirty bucks at uh, some auto place. And the main thing I want to do is I want to see if there's a major difference between when we test it when it's cold and then when we test it when it's hot. I want to run the engine and then make it, you know, warm up and then I want to do the, the test again. If there's a major difference with the compression versus, you know, cold versus hot, that will tell us that there's something wrong with either the valves or the piston rings and uh, that will hopefully tell us what is exactly wrong with this engine so we can finally get it to run. I'm trying to get this engine to just run. So hopefully in this video we can figure out what is exactly wrong with this engine. Is it compression? Is it not? If it's not, I don't know what's wrong with this. If it's not compression, I'm just gonna start looking for a new engine. But anyway, let's uh, open this thing up and uh, test it cold. Alright, so I have the battery hooked up. I have both spark plugs removed. And I have it right now hooked up to the uh, right cylinder, if you're looking at it from the front of the dune buggy. Now, I heard that you're supposed to uh, crank it over until it just until it stops uh, moving, and you're also supposed to hold down the gas, the uh, throttle. So, uh, here we go. What's that? <laughs> Oh, that's not good. Oh, that, that, oh, that's not good. That's 90. That, can you guys see it? I know it's upside down for you guys. Let me, uh, let me zoom in. Be patient. There we go. It's 90. That is not good at all. That is really bad. And remember, this is cold. So let's test the, uh, the other cylinder. All right, so we're testing the left cylinder now. So let's turn it on, throttle all the way down. Let's try it. <laughs> oh, that's not good. It's still at 90. That's, uh, it's supposed to be like 100. 100 is bad. Like 170, like right around here, that would be good, but it's at 90, and this is cold. This, this is uh, not good at all. All right, so all I'm trying to do is just warm the engine up. I'm not going to turn the fan on just because I you know, I don't want it to cool down, and I'm not going to be uh, waiting for it to die like it normally does. I just, I'm just trying to get it to up to temperature like it would while well, it's running. So... <laughs>
I'd say that's good. It's nice and warmed up. Yeah, that's nice and warm. All right, I'm gonna roll it back in here and let's do the compression test again. Alright, right, so now the engine's warmed up. Let's uh, let's try it. I'm trying the left cylinder this time. So here we go. Huh? Okay, so it's the same. It's it's still at ninety. Huh? That could mean that um. What does that mean? I don't know. Let's uh let's try the other cylinder. Alright, so we are now trying the right cylinder. Here we go. <sighs> okay, so it's still at 90. It's still, you know, the same compression cold versus versus warmed up. Um what does that mean? I have no idea. I don't know. Alright, so it has bad compression. I mean, 90 is bad. 100 is bad. 90 is even worse, but what I was hoping that this test would tell us is, um, you know, bad compression is the reason it won't want to run for more than five minutes. That is what I was hoping that this test would tell us. Uh, what I was thinking is, you know, when the engine's cold, everything's shrunk a little bit, and it, it'll run. But when I ride this thing, everything expands, the compression gets even worse, and then it, the compression gets so bad, it won't want to run, and it dies, it won't start back up until the engine cools down and everything shrinks back until it gets good compression again. That is what I was thinking is happening, but apparently it has bad compression no matter what, no matter if it's cold or warm. Now, 90... What is this, PSI? 90 PSI, that is, that's bad compression. That is bad compression. Uh, 100 is bad. 90, that's even worse. So um, that tells us that it, the engine has bad compression, that it, you know, it won't want to run properly. Now, I will admit, when I was rebuilding the top end of this motorcycle engine all those months ago before I made this, I did, uh, I was looking at the pistons and the piston rings were frozen on the pistons. I couldn't get them off. I did soak them in carburetor cleaner overnight. That didn't free them up. And at the time, I couldn't afford new pistons or new piston rings. I couldn't get the new piston rings off. So therefore, I just put the thing back together and hoped that it wasn't going to cause that big of an issue. And I guess I'm paying the price. This is the reason. Whatever it is, I need to fix it. So, um, now I know this video was a little short, but the reason it was a little short is, um, I was in the middle of working on, uh, of rebuilding the Mini Green ATV when I needed some parts from Go Power Sports. I ordered them, and it being Christmas time, it's taking forever to ship them to my house. So, therefore, I had to make something for you guys to upload on Sunday. So, that's the reason this video is a little short, and, uh, you know, not that interesting. Now, next video I make of this project will probably be um, taking the engine apart, looking at the piston rings and looking at the pistons, hoping that I can old, that I just need to replace the piston rings, and uh, hopefully the valves aren't bad. I don't know. All I all I know is I need to take the engine apart again and uh, replace something because um, and hope that this will fix the. Uh, problem of it not wanting to run for more than five minutes. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna end the video here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and have a nice day.